Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Nail the Numbers podcast. I am excited that you are here with me. Uh, I know I'm like, what, nearly three hours late? You know, it's just been a day where I was totally not on my Tuesday game. So I apologize for being a little bit late. If you're listening to this on Spotify, then you know that I'm right on time. So we are good. So my name is Kerry Postal. I have the privilege of being the owner and founder of Africa's Business Solutions. And today we are going to talk about diversification. So we work with you know, and it is construction. Uh, it's an area that we are growing in our business. Uh, having had six years working for a general contractor, I saw a lot of areas where you know, there were ways that uh, businesses could improve how they were uh, you know, doing their business, growing their business, and uh, wanted to be able to help more business owners to be able to succeed. So today we're going to talk about diversification. So let's jump straight in. So Think of your business right now. What are you doing? What services are you offering? What made you decide to offer those services in the first place? And have you thought about adding more services to that? Is that something that excites you? Does it stress you out? Is it something maybe you haven't thought about in the past because you're like, okay, well, this is just kind of what I know, what I do. Um, you know, Or is it something that you've thought about? It's kind of overwhelmed you and you're like, yeah, you know, I, I'm not going to worry about that. So let's jump into that a little bit more today and just kind of you know, maybe provoke some questions in, in your mind and uh, you know, maybe something uh, that you can start looking into or maybe it will confirm that maybe it's something that it's not right for you and that's perfectly okay as well. So first of all, let's look at why should you think about diversifying. So think about your customers. When your, t you know, your crew are on the, the jobs on the, uh, at homes, you know, doing the home service um, projects, are they being asked about other things? Are they being asked about like, hey, do you do plumbing? Maybe you're an HVAC company and you're not currently offering any plumbing services. Hey, do you do electrical services? Like, hey, do you know anybody that can, you know, landscape? Like what kind of services are, you, are your current customers looking for? Maybe it's painting, maybe it's landscaping. Who knows? And, you know, it's going to differ from area to area, company to company. And depending as well how your team that are out there, your crew come across as to are they you know, looking for that you know, additional information. And so diversification can help you to meet more of your customers' needs. And that comes from listening to what they're looking for. And so that way, then you end up being the company that they call whenever they need something. It helps also to keep your customers coming back as well. When they know that they can rely on you for multiple different services, then they're more likely to keep returning. It's a whole lot easier just to call one company and they're like, right, they can take care of this, this, and this. They're going to start to get to know you. They'll get a real comfort factor with you. And, and then there's a lot of trust that develops there as well. So that whenever a bigger project comes up or they want to you refer you to somebody else, because they've had so much experience of working with you in so many different areas, they're going to feel more confident about referring referring you to their friends, their family, their neighbors, and that also then obviously in turn helps you to grow your business. And then the third area is how do I balance your business year round? You know, if you're in HVAC, you know, if you're up north, then maybe winter is a super busy time of year because everybody's heating is breaking and they want that fixed right away. Maybe if you're down in the south and with those crazy heat temperatures, that then the AC is breaking down in the summertime and then you're super busy there, but maybe quieter around the rest of the time of the year. So when you're able to offer different services, then you know some that become a little bit more seasonal than others, that can help just balance your business throughout the year. That then balances cash flow and revenue throughout the year as well. So that is another area as well that you can be thinking of. For example, you know, maybe if you are a landscaping business and you're doing landscaping, um, you know, in the summertime and you're up north and then you can be doing snow removal in the wintertime. It's things like that where you, know, you don't want to necessarily have a business that, you know, it's got these crazy up and down times throughout the year. So how can you balance that out by diversifying? What is it that you can offer in your business that can help you to be able to do that? So maybe you've decided that you do want to diversify, but you're not really quite sure how to go about it or what to diversify in. So the first thing is listen to your customers, train your crew as they're going out there to have their ears open, to ask certain questions, to be able to prompt the customer to let them know what is it that you're needing. And particularly if it's just somebody that's moved into a new house, you know, what services are they looking for? Have they just moved to the area? Are they completely brand new to the area and don't know any other local companies that are there? 
that's something where you can just start asking the questions uh, and seeing you know, what is it that you can do to help them in other areas. And particularly, you know, get your crew to listen out that you know, and you can discuss then this in a weekly meeting, like, you know, uh, several of your crews hearing the same thing that, you know, hey, so-and-so was asking about this service this week. If we did that, I didn't know who to refer her to. Um, you know, so start thinking about those kinds of things. Train your team to be listening and asking the right questions, because that's what you want to hear. Is what do your customers actually want? You don't just want to diversify. You spend all this time and money and effort getting it set up. And then you're like, oh, shoot, nobody actually wanted this service. And we didn't realize that. So that is something to be looking out for. But train your team. They're your eyes and ears in the field. They are the ones that need to bring back that information to you as well. But you can also ask for feedback as well. You can you know, send a survey out to your current customers as well, saying what other services would it be helpful if we offered? And you might come back with some surprising areas. Um, another area to think about as well is maintenance. You know, if you're doing installs and services, what about some kind of maintenance plan that helps have continuous revenue throughout the year you know, on a subscription model basis as well? So that's another area to think about as well. Where can you uh, grow into that? I have a company right now um, that you know, does a lot of installs. Uh, they're not in the HVC plumbing or electrical area, but somebody mentioned to them, have you heard about doing maintenance? And they're like, well, no, I just it didn't hadn't so you know crossed my mind. So now they're looking at you know expanding their business into that area as well because it's something that is a great fit for what they do. And then when something you know gets broken or is worn and torn and everything, then the company's right there to go and fix it as well. So another thing is that you may need to maybe you know train your current team on adding new service, or you may need to add to your current team to add a new service. So, you know, look out for different ways that you can do that. You know, who on your team already has that skill set that you can utilize? And, you know, what training is there out there? You know, certifications that can help your team, you know, get up to speed? Um, or is it a case of like, right, actually, no, we need to build a completely separate crew that does this area in the business. Uh, and anything where you're, you're training and doing certifications, look at it as an investment into your business. So you're helping these people to improve themselves and, and people always say, well, what about you know, if I, I train them all up and then they leave? And it's like, well, what about if you don't train them and they stay? You know, that's the other way of looking at that. And you know, and just, just really think about that. Because when you first hear that, you're kind of like, huh? And then you're like, well, if you don't train them, they're not getting any better. They're just going to stay with you. And then you can't grow and do better as a business. So I just think that's one of my favorite phrases um, you know, in just in all areas uh, of work is to train up your staff, help them to be the best person that they can be. And if they go on to another you know, you know, venture, then great. Wish them all the best and, and, and uh, you know, leave on good terms. You know, they may end up coming back to you. Uh, but don't just not train because you're afraid that they're going to leave. Another option is partnering, partnering up with uh, another business. So maybe if there's a service that you're finding lots of people are looking for, but it's just outside your area of expertise, then partner up with another business. That way you can be sending referrals back and forth to each other. And that way you, you can help offering this wider range of services without you know, stretching yourself too thin or having to put a lot of money into a new area that you're not quite sure of, where if you partner up with somebody, you can collaborate together, you can you know, send clients, back, customers back and forth to each other. And it's just a really great way to be able to offer more services without having to put a huge investment into another area of your business if you're not sure if it's the right time. Then obviously, once you've done that, let people know. You know, let current customers know, hey, now hey, we're now doing this, this, and this. And you know, update your marketing materials, update your social media, um, update your website. You know, make sure that that message is out everywhere. That's what you're doing. And then particularly when your crew are going to your homes and doing work, make sure they've got something that they can leave with the customers. Like, hey, we also did, do these other services as well besides plumbing or you know, whatever your business might be. So you want to get the word out there and you know, letting all your current customer base know is definitely you know, the first place to start, and then obviously getting all your marketing materials updated as well. So hopefully that helped if you've been thinking about diversifying as to what things you need to be asking yourself, what things you need to be thinking about, what direction you, you can be going in, and what does that look like for you as well. So if you have any questions on that, I would love to chat with you. We can just kind of you know, walk through you know, some different ideas and see if that is something that is a good fit for you. Uh, and obviously, if you're in a position where you know, you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I can really afford to do that. I don't really know my numbers. Then let's talk about that as well. Get your books to a point where you can be having a profit and loss report. You can get a balance sheet and you can see how your business is performing as well. 
So that was diversification. Thank you for listening. If you are listening to us on Spotify, if you join me live on Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn, thanks for being here and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss another episode. Thanks so much.